Hello, Miss Dana. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heartland. Hi, Miss Leslie. Hi, boys and girls. I'm so happy to be here today. It is so great to be here today and learn more from the Bible. Last week, we learned about how Peter and John went to prison for telling people about Jesus. Ooh, that sounds scary. But mm. you know what? We were reminded that the Holy Spirit is helping them the whole time. That's right, Miss Dana. Jesus told his disciples he would send the Holy Spirit to help them and... He kept his promise. Thank goodness. I wonder what we're going to learn today. How about we head down and see Farmer Joey and the Heartland friends and see what they're up to? Sounds good. Let's go. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Farmer Joey. I'd like to welcome you to Heartland. Here in Heartland, we like to sing songs to Jesus, hear about God's love, and learn from the Bible. Also, we can be more like Jesus. Thank you for joining us today. Hey, how about you all stand up right where you are and give yourself a hand? Give yourself a pat on the back and a great big hug for tuning in to Heartland today. Mm -hmm. I need more money. <laughs> uh, good morning, Farmer Francisco. Uh, Hello, Farmer Joy. Why do you need more money? So I can share it. Wow, okay. I mean, that's awesome that you want to share your money. Well, of course I do. I don't want that to happen to me. Um, you don't want what to happen to you? You know what happened in the Bible story? Huh? Wait, what happened in the Bible story? Come on, Farmer Joy. I don't want to scare the little boys and girls. Uh, F Farmer Francisco, I'm very confused on what you're talking about. Let me whisper it to you. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Farmer Francisco, you know, I, I think you may have missed a very important part of the story. What do you mean I missed a part? It really happened, Farmer Joy. Yeah, I know, but uh, I want you to read the story again, and then we'll talk about it more when you get back. Okay, Farmer Joy, I'll read it again, and I'll be back. Okay, awesome. See you soon, Farmer Francisco. You know, boys and girls, Farmer Francisco heard the same story as you. Now, something bad happened in the story, but he's confused why it happened. So while we wait for Farmer Francisco to come back, how about we stand and use our best singing voices to sing about God's Word? boys and girls. Every time we gather in Heartland, we're going to talk about the letter that God has sent us. And we can read it every day. What is that letter called, boys and girls? The Bible. That's right, the Bible. I open my Bible and listen to God. He tells me what I should do. 
I know that he loves me. He hears when I pray. And all of his stories are true. Now let's be very still and quiet and see what the Bible has to tell us this morning. Good morning, Bible. Good morning, Farmer Joey. And good morning, boys and girls. Please tell us something from God's Word this morning, Bible. The Bible verse today is, How can they believe without hearing about Him? And how can they hear without a preacher? Romans 10, verse 14. Okay, boys and girls, let's continue practicing our Bible verse this week. And remember, you can always practice it with your mom and dad too. Ready? How can they believe? How can they believe? Without hearing about him. Without hearing about him. And how can they hear? And how can they hear? Without a preacher. Without a preacher. Great job. Let's repeat that, boys and girls. You ready? How can they believe? How can they believe? Without hearing about him. Without hearing about him. And how can they hear? And how can they hear? Without a preacher. Without a preacher. Romans 10, 14. Romans 10, 14. Great job. Farmer Joey, God does not want us to sin. That's right, Bible. He does not want us to sin at all, boys and girls. Telling others what God teaches us in the Bible is very important. It's very true, Bible. Boys and girls, when we tell others what God teaches us in the Bible, it will help them to know what sin is. When someone knows what sin is and they believe in Jesus, they're going to try harder not to sin. That's right. And that's why God teaches us what sin is, so that we will not sin and go against him. Thank you, Bible, for helping me teach the boys and girls that telling others about Jesus is important so that they know what sin is. Miss Leslie, did you see how nervous Farmer Francisco was about his money? I wonder what that was all about. I'm not sure, Miss Dana. He talked about the Bible story being scary, and I can kind of see where he's coming from. But God didn't want us to be scared by this story, but to learn more about God and what He wants us to do. That's right, Miss Dana. It can be scary to do the right thing sometimes, and it may seem easier to lie about it. But God wants us to always tell the truth, no matter what. And we can have the Holy Spirit's help to encourage us to help us make the right choice, even when it is scary. That's right. Boys and girls, hey, let's head back and see if Farmer Francisco figured out what he missed from the Bible story. That's a great idea. Let's go. Farmer Joy! Farmer Joy! Hey, Farmer Francisco. So, um, did you find out what you had gotten wrong about the Bible story? I think so. But Farmer Joy, don't you see there are still little boys and girls listening? It's okay, Farmer Francisco. They heard the same story as you did today, too. Oh, okay. So the Ananias and his wife die because they lie? Well, that's exactly right. See, it wasn't because they didn't share all of their money, but it was because they lied about it. So, Farmer Joy, mm -hmm. how did Peter know that they were lying? So... You know, God gave him powers, boys and girls, to tell others about Jesus. And those included knowing when someone sinned. So, God wasn't mad about the money, but the lying? Mm. Yes. See, God wants us to give, those, give to those in need. Just like his son Jesus gave his life for us when we needed him. So, while it's true that God was upset about the money, he was more upset about the sin of lying. Wow. Thank you, Farmer Joy. So does this mean I don't have to give away all my money? <laughs> no, Farmer Francisco. You don't need to give away all your money. But you know, helping those in need shows God that you want to follow what Jesus did for us. Oh, thanks, Farmer Joy. 
I am going to put some of my money back in my piggy bank and put some in, my, in the offering bucket. That way I can help people who need help from the church. Awesome. That sounds like a great idea, Farmer Francisco. Thank you so much, Farmer Joy. We'll see you later. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Farmer Francisco. <laughs> Boys and girls, God wants us to help others just like Jesus helped us when he died on the cross for our sins, was buried, and rose from the grave. Now, how about we sing another song to Jesus? Now remember, boys and girls, all our Bible stories point us to Jesus. This week, we learned how Peter had to confront sin. When Ananias and Sapphira lied about giving away all their money, Peter had to confront them and point out to them their sin, which is really sad because they also died because of that sin. The big idea this week is this. God commands Christians to tell others about Jesus so that they will hear and believe in him. Peter wanted everyone to believe in Jesus and be like Jesus. That's why he told everyone he met about Jesus, so that they too could know and love him. So boys and girls, let's repeat our Bible verse and make sure you say it as awesome as you can. How can they believe? How can they believe? Without hearing about him. Without hearing about him. And how can they hear? And how can they hear? Without a preacher.
without a preacher. Romans 10, 14. Romans 10, 14. Great job. Now, let's bow our heads and talk to the Lord and repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for giving us what we need. Thank you for giving us what we need. And please be there with us. And please be there with us. To tell others about Jesus. To tell others about Jesus. We love you. We love you. In your name we pray. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, for my favorite part, let's remember to tell others around you just how much God loves them. You ready? One, two, this is true. God loves me and God loves you. See you next time, boys and girls. Bye. I am so glad that Farmer Francisco got the Bible story cleared up for him. It's important to ask your parents or pastor when you're confused about a story in the Bible. That's right, Miss Leslie. Ananias and his wife didn't die because they didn't give all the money that they had. It was because they lied about it. And just like we said earlier, it's always better to tell the truth. We tell the truth because God is truth and we want to be just like him, boys and girls. When we tell the truth, we are showing our friends and family around us a part of who God is. And that's part of sharing the gospel. We can trust what the Bible says that Jesus died, was buried, and rose again to free us from our sins because we know that the Bible is telling the truth. That is so important for all of us to remember, Miss Dana. I am so glad that we got to learn this lesson from the Bible together and learn more about who God is. Me too, Miss Leslie. Well, boys and girls, it's been great learning together in Heartland, and we can't wait for next time. Bye. Bye.